Good morning, class! I'm Teacher Diana. Are you all ready for our class discussion today? Very good! So, before we start our discussion, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, Thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection, we love and thank you. Help us to focus our heart and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world. We all ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, good morning. So let's start. The Atlantic word composed of four topics and section. The first section talks about the Spain builds an empire or American empire. And the second section talks about the European nation settled in North America. And the third one talks about the Atlantic slave trade. And the last one is all about the Colombian exchange and global trade. So, let's start with the verse 1. And the assigned teacher here is Miss Angel Sagala. Good morning class, I'm Teacher Angel and I will be discussing about Section 1, Spain Builds an American Empire. The Voyage of Columbus prompt the Spanish to establish colonies in the Americas. The Voyage of Columbus First Encounters Genesee C. Captain Christopher Columbus reaches Americas 1492. Thinks he is in East Indies, Colds Natives, Los Indios or Indians actually lands on an island, probably in the Bahamas. Unable to find gold, he claims many islands for Spain. In, 19, in 1493, he sets out for the Americas again with a large fleet. Spain aims to set up colonies, lands controlled by a foreign nation. Other explorers take to the seas. Pedro Alvarez Cabral claims Brazil for Portugal in 15,000. Amerigo, Amerigo Vespucci identifies South America as new continent. In 1507, Ger German mapmaker names the continent America. And Vasco Nunez de Balboa Riches reaches the Pacific Ocean, Ferdinand Magellan lives to sail around the world in 1519. Magellan is killed but some of his men return to Spain in 1522. Spanish Conquest in Mexico Conquistadors In 1519, Hernando Cortes, a Spanish adventurer, lands in Mexico, and he and others become known as conquistadors. Spanish conquerors, Cortes conquers the Aztecs. Cortes and 600 men reach Aztec capital of Tecno, Tecno Tecnoctitlan. By 1521, the Conquer Aztec Empire, conquest aided by superior weapons, Native American allies. European diseases wipe out large numbers of Aztecs. Spanish conquest in Peru, another conquistador. And Spanish conqueror Francisco Pizarro leads force to Peru in 1532. 
Pizarro subdues the Inca. And Pizarro kills Atualpa at Inca ruler and defeats the Inca. And Spain's pattern of conquest. Spanish men and Native American women have children. Result is large mestizo mixed Spanish and Native population. Encomienda system Spanish force Native Americans to work for them. The Portuguese in Brazil in 1530s Portuguese settle in Brazil begin growing sugar. In Spain's influence expands. Growth of Spanish power. Conquests in Americas bring great wealth to Spain. Spain enlarged its navy to protect ships carrying treasure. And they provide great wealth that helped to finance in Spain, but this wealth also caused inflation of their economic strength. Conquistadors push north. But Juan Ponce de Leon claims Florida for Spain in 1513. In 1540s, Francisco Corondo explores southwest, finds little gold, and Catholic priests set up missions in southwest. In early 1600s, Spanish established capital of Santa Fe. Colonial expansion under the Spanish Empire was initiated by the Spanish conquistadors through its administrators and missionaries to spread the Christian faith through indigenous conversations. And opposite to Spanish rule, protest against mistreatment. Catholic priests protect mistreatment of Native Americans. In African slavery and Native resistance, Spain abolished encomienda system in 1542. Need for workers in mines and on farms met with enslaved Africans, some Native Americans resist Spanish conquerors. In 1680, Pope leads rebellion against Spanish in modern New Mexico. Spanish driven out but returned 12 years later to stay. In African slavery and native resistance, the escape of Native American slave was frequent because they had a better understanding of the land which African slaves did not. I'm Teacher Balbacal and now I will be discussing the European nation settled North America. Competing claims in North America. Magellan voyage showed that ships could reach Asia by the way of the Pacific Ocean. Spain claimed the route around the southern tip of South America. Other European countries have to find an easier and more direct route to the Pacific. If it existed, a northwest trade route through North America to Asia would become highly profitable. Not finding route, the French, English, and Dutch instead established colonies in North America. Other European countries claims in North America. French, English, Dutch start colonies in North America. Explorers established New France. Samuel de Champlain found Quebec. New France, French colony in North America. New France includes Great Lakes and Mississippi River Valley. Samuel de Champlain sailed up the St. Lawrence with about 32 colonies. They found Quebec, which became the base of France colonial empire in North America, known as New France. A trading empire. New France is very large 
but has few inhabitants. Main activity of the colony is the fur trade. Ang France ay maraming lupain, ngunit kahunti ang mga naninirahan sa hilaga. Karamihan sa mga kolonistang Pranses ay ayaw magtago ng mga bayan o magpalaki ng mga pamilya. At saka interesado ang mga Pranses sa mga nakakumita ng pera at hindi sakupin yung mga teritoryo. The English arrived in North America. The first English colony. King James permits investor to start North American colony. In 1607, colonies found Jamestown English settlement in Virginia. Noong 1606 ay nagpadala si King James of England ng isang pangkat ng mga naninirahan sa Hilagang Amerika upang magkatag ng isang kolonya. At noong 1607 naman ay nakarating sila sa Jamestown, Virginia. Ipinangalan naman yun kay King James. Ito yung, ito yung, yung ano, unang permanenteng paninirahan ng Ingles sa North. The Settlement in Jamestown. Early years, very difficult. Many die, but settlement takes hold. Sa simula ay mas interesado ang mga naninirahan sa paghahanap ng mga ginto kaysa sa pagtanim ng mga pananim. 70% ng mga settler ang namatay dahil sa gutom, sakit o digmaan sa mga katutubong Amerikano noong mga ilang taon. Sa kalaunan, ang mga settler ay nakapagpatuloy sa kanilang bagong buhay sa Virginia at ang pagtuklas ng tabako bilang isang pananim na salapi ay pagkabuti ng mga kapalaran. Puritans create a New England. Pilgrims group persecuted for a religion found Plymouth in 1620. Puritans group seeking religious freedom settled in Massachusetts. Many families in Massachusetts colony which begins to grow. No 1620, pilgrims arrived in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Numating sa America para sa kalayaan sa relihiyon at kung at nang maglaon. Dumating ang mga Puritans sa Hilagang America para tumakas mula sa Anglican Church at limitadong komunidad na maaaring tingnan ng ibang mga bayan bilang isang huwaran at kalaunan ay magtagumpay. The Dutch found New Netherland. In 1609, Henry Hudson explores waterways for Dutch. Dutch claim land found New Netherland, now Albany and New York City. Dutch focus on Fort Reed welcome settlers from other lands. 1609, Harry Hudson arrived at the mouth of the Hudson River. Nagtago ang mga Dutch sa mga poste sa tabi ng ilog at tinawag ang kanilang kolonya na New Netherlands. Itinatag ang uh, pagkipag ano, kalakalan sa mga Indians at mabagal sa pag-akit ng mga settler. Kaya pinahintulan nila ang mga maraming ano sa iba't ibang maninirahan sa relihiyon. Colonizing the Caribbean. European rations also start colonies in the Caribbean. Large cotton sugar platforms worked by and solved Africans. In the Caribbean Sea, European countries were also going to the possessions. France gained Haiti, Guadalupe, and Marine and Manitou, and Marine Duque, ganon. English settlers arrived in Barabas and Jamaica. Dutch took Netherlands until and from the Spain. Sa Caribbean, ang mga plantasyon ay bulok at ang asukal at itinagtag ang pagkakapatagpo sa mga pagagawa ng mga alipin. For North America. Sa lahat ng mga bansang ito, sa malapit na pagkipag-ugnayan sa isa't isa, lumitaw ang alitan sa pagitan nila para sa pangingibabaw. The English outs the Dutch. New Netherlands built southern, southern English colonies. 
In 1604, English forced Dutch colonies to surrender control. By 1750 naman, about 1.2 million English settlers in 13 colonies. New Netherlands Dutch separated England's northern and southern colonies. Kumuha yung mga Duke of York ng lungsod para sa England of pinaglamanan ng mga itulong New York. Matapos mawala ang Dutch, ang English ay natatag ng 13 colonial sa silangang baybayin ng Amerika. England Battle France England settlers pushing west collided French possessions. French and Indian War, part of seven years, war begins noong 1754. In 1763, France focuses to Britain gives up its American colonies. In search of more land, English colonies moved west. Habang lumalawak ang mga ito, mas nakikinanla ng England at France sa isa't isa. Noong 1754, France and Indian War begins nga. Natalo yung mga kolonistang British ang mga Pranses sa Hilagang Amerika at isinuko ng mga France ang lupain dito sa Hilagang Amerika sa Britanya. Nasa kontrol na ngayon ng Britanya ang kalahating North America. Native Americans Respond Ang kolonisasyon ng Europe ay nagkaroon ng matinding epekto sa populasyon ng katutubong Amerikano. As trade relationship, French and Dutch for traders get along with Native Americans. English settlers and Native Americans disagree over land region. Medyo maayos ang pagkitungo ng Pranses at Dutch sa mga katutubong Amerikano at nagtulungan ang industriya ng fur trading. Ang Ingles ay may mahinang relasyon sa mga katutubong Amerikano kaya nakipagtulungan sa simula. Ngunit sa mas maraming lupain ay itinula kanila ang mas maraming katarabaho sa kanilang mga tahanan kaya naman itinuring ang isa't isa bilang mga demonyo dahil sa relihiyon. Settlers and Native Americans Battle Often breaks out into war. Native Americans under Metro Lanches attaches on the colonies in 1675. Habang tumatas yung tension ay sumiklab ang mga digmaan sa pagitan ng British at katutubong Amerikano. Inatake ng, ng tribo ang mga pulutan ng mga Jamestowns at pinatay ang ilang mga settler. Tumugo ng British sa mga mag pamamagitan na pagkatag sa daan-daang pauhitan. Sa digmaan naman ni Haring Philip ay pinagmamasakar ang mga makakabilang panik sa isang hang isang ano hanggang sa doon sa British. Natives fail to disease. Wars are less deadly to Native Americans than Europe diseases. Colonies was involved Africans to work in the place of Native Americans. Ang sakit ang pangunahing pamatay ng mga katutubong Amerikano sa North America. Ang malaking grupo naman ng katutubong Amerika ay natipol dahil sa ano, bulutong at tigdas. Ang isang tribo naman ay naging 750 mula 24,000 sa loob ng ano, 16 na taon. Good day, I am Justin Joy M. Akasha. And now, I will be discussing the Atlantic slave trade. African peoples were captured and transported to the Americas to work. Most European colonial economies in the Americas from the 16th through the 19th century were dependent on enslaved African labor for their survival. According to European colonial officials, the abundant land they had discovered in the Americas was useless without sufficient labor to exploit it. Slavery system of labor exploitation were prepared, but neither European nor Native American sources proved adequate to the task. The causes of African slavery. Slavery had existed in Africa for centuries. In most regions, it was a relatively minor institution. The, sp the spread of Islam into Africa during the 7th 
century, however, ushered in an increase in slavery and the slave trade. Muslim rulers in the Africa justified enslavement with the Muslim belief that non-Muslim prisoners of war could be bought and sold as slaves. As a result, between 650 and 16,000 Muslims transported about 17 million Africans to the Muslim lands of North Africa and Southwest Asia. The demand for Africans. Europeans saw advantages in using Africans in the Americas. First, Many Africans had been exposed to European diseases and had built up some immunity. And many Africans had experience in farming and could be taught plantation work. Africans were useless, were less likely to escape because they did not know their way around the new land. Their skin color made it easier to catch them if they escaped and tried to live among others. In time, the buying and selling of Africans for work in the Americas, known as the Atlantic Slave Trade, became a massive enterprise. Europeans had imported about 9.5 million Africans to the Americas. Spain and Portugal lead the way the Spanish took an early lead in importing Africans to the Americas. Spain moved on from the Caribbean and began to colonize the, the American mainland. As a result, the Spanish imported and enslaved thousands more Africans. By 1650, nearly 300,000 Africans labored throughout Spanish America on plantations and in gold and silver mines. By this time, however, the Portuguese has surpassed the Spanish in the importation of Africans to the Americas. During the 16,000s, Brazil dominated the European sugar market. As a colonist sugar industry grew, so too did European colonies demand for cheap labor. England dominates the slave trade as England's presence in the Americas grew, it came to dominate the Atlantic slave trade from 1690 until England abolished the slave trade in 1807. It was the leading carrier of enslaved Africans. By the time the slave trade ended, the English had transported ne nearly 1.7 million Africans. African slaves were also brought to what is now the United States. In all, nearly 400,000 Africans were sold to Britain's North American colonies. Afri African cooperation and resistance, many African rulers and merchants played a willing role in the Atlantic slave trade. Most European traders, rather than travel inland, waited in ports along the coast of Africa. African merchants, with the help of local rulers, captured Africans to be enslaved. They then delivered them to the Europeans in exchange for gold, guns, and other goods. As the slave trade grew, some African rulers voiced their opposition to the practice. Nonetheless, the slave trade steadily grew. Many African rulers continued to participate. African merchants developed new trade routes to avoid rulers who refused to co cooperate. A first journey, the triangular trade Africans transported to the Americas were part of trans transatlantic trading network known as the triangular trade traders exchange this good for captured africans the africans were then transported across and sold in the west indies merchants bought sugar coffee and tobacco in the west indies and sailed to europe with these products the middle passage the voyage that brought captured Africans to the West Indies and later to North and South Americans was known as the Middle Passage. It was considered the middle leg of the transatlantic trade triangle, sickening cruelty, 
characterize this journey. In African ports, European traders pack Africans into the dark holds of large ships. On board, on board Africans endured weepings and beating from merchants, as well as diseases that swept through the vessel. Numerous Africans died from disease or physical abuse aboard the slave ship. Many others committed suicide by drowning. More than 20% of the Africans aboard during the brutal trip, slavery in the, in the Americas. Americans who survived their ocean voyage face a difficult life in the Americas. Forced to work in a strange land, and slave Amer Africans cope in a variety of ways. A harsh life upon arriving in the Americas, captured um, Africans usually were auctioned off the night the highest bidder. After being sold, slave work in mines or field. Many lived on little food in small dairy huts. They worked long days, suffered beatings. Slavery was a lifelong condition as well as a hereditary one. Resistance and rebellion to cope with the horrors of slavery. African developed a way of life based on their cultural heritage. They kept alive such things as their musical tradition as well as the stories of their ancestors. Slaves also found ways to resist. They made themselves less productive by breaking tools, uprooting plants, and working slowly. Thousands also ran. Some slaves pushed their res resistance to open revolt. Consequences of the slave trade Results in Africa and the Americas African societies suffer from loss of so many people. African from families disrupted. In Americas, labor, labor of enslaved people helps build a new societies. Enslaved Africans affect culture in Americas. Population in Americas changes. For now, this will be the end of my report. Thank you. Good day again, class. Again, I'm Teacher Diana, and I will be discussing the Section 4. Section 4, the Colombian Exchange and Global Trade. The colonization of the Americas introduces new items into Eastern and Western Hemisphere. The Colombian Exchange and Global Trade. Let us first discuss the Colombian Exchange. Class, always remember that the Colombian Exchange, it is a global transfer of food, plants, and animals. Corn, potatoes from Americas become crops in his Eastern Hemisphere. New animals, plants, they are all introduced by the European trade that take in Americas. European disease kill millions of Native Americans. So, ang pangdaigdig ang pagtatransfer ng foods, plants, and animals sa panahon ng American colonization ay kilala bilang Colombian Stage. Ang mga barko sa Amerika ay nagdala ng malawak na uri ng bagay na mayroon ang Europe ngayon. Ganun na din ang Asian, Africans na never been or never before seen. They included such as plants tulad ng kamatis, kalabasa, pinya at tabako. And they included animals tulad ng pabo na pinagmula ng source of food sa Eastern Hemisphere. So, bale, ang patatas ay siya yung nagsusupply ng maraming essential vitamins at minerals. And sa paglipas ng panahon, ang corn at potato, sila naman ang naging mahalaga and steady parts ng diets throughout the world. Then, Bali, ang ilang aspect of Colombian exchange ay nagkakaon ng tragic impact sa maraming Native Americans. Ito na nga yung tinatawag na disease. Bali, ang disease, ito ay bahagi rin ng Colombian exchange as well as the goods and the foods. So, bali, ito yung nagdulot or naglead sa pagkamatay ng milyon-milyon Native Americans. So, let's, ano, let's go to global trade. Changing economies. Well, from Americas, Growth of trade changes businesses in Europe. Bali, ang pagtatatag ng colonial, 
empire sa Amerika ang nakaipluensya sa mga bansa sa Europe in still other way. Ang mga yaman mula sa Amerika sa isinama sa isang dramatic growth sa kalakala ng ibang bansa. Bale, ang mga kasanayan ito na marami sa mga ito ay nagugat ng today's financial dealings ay kapansin-pansin talaga ang pagbabago when it comes to their economic atmosphere. And let's go to the rise of capitalism. So, in raising capitalism, new economic system or the capitalism based from private property or profit. Dito din yung increase in business that leads to inflation, rising prices in Europe. Hence, like gold, silver from Americas cause high inflation in Spain. Bale, ang one aspect of the European economic revolution ay ang paglago ng kapitalismo. Ang kapitalismo ay isang sistemang pang-ekonomiya batay sa private ownership at pamumuhunan ng mga resources tulad ng pera for profit. So, bali, itong mga mga ngalakal, yung mga, mala, mga, mga ngalakal sa Amerika, ito ay nagpatuloy sa pamumuhunan ng kanilang pera in trade and overseas exploration. Ang mga kita mula sa mga pamumuhunan ito, sila ang nagbigay daan sa mga merchants or trader to reinvest. Bale, the increase in economic activity in Europe ay nag sa isang overall increase sa supply para sa maraming bansa. Alam naman natin na ang inflation, ito yung pagtaas ng, ano, pagtaas ng presyo. And then, in, inclined to economic trade, papasok din dito yung joint stock companies. In joint stock company, it lets the investor share risks or profits of the business. These companies have fund colonies in America. Ang isang business venture na developed during this period ay kilala bilang joint stock company. Itong joint stock company na ito ay nag-work katulad ng modern day, modern day corporation na may namumuhunan na silang bumibili ng share of stock sa isang company. It involve a number of people na pinagsama-sama nilang kanilang kayamanan para sa isang common purposes. Okay? And the next one is the balance trade. One way for nation to increase wealth is to gather gold and silver. Favorable balance of trade when nation sells more goods than it buys. Colonies provide raw materials that home country uses to make goods. So class, ayon sa yung merkantilismo, maaaring dagdagan ng isang bansa ang kanilang kayamanan at kapangyarihan in two ways. Una, maaari itong makuha, makakuha ng gold at silver hanggang maaari. Pangalawa, maaari itong maglaglag or magbigay ng favorable balance na may kalakalan sa kung saan mas it sold more goods than it bought. Ang pangunahing layunin sa ilalim ng merkantilismo ay to become self-sufficient at hindi umaasa sa isang bansa pagdating sa goods or kalakalan. Ang merkantilismo kasi ay sumako or sumabay sa colonization dahil ang mga colonies ay may mga mahalagang papel in this new economic practices. So, maaaring ibenta ang one specific country yung kanilang goods in its colonies. And then, the economic re revolution changes European society. Economics changes is for growth of towns, rise of merchants class. Still, most people and poor live in rural areas. The economic changes that swept through much of Europe during the age of American colonization ay nag sa pagbabago ng European society. Ang revolusyong pang-ekonomiya ay nag sa paglago ng mga bayan at pag-usbong ng isang klase ng mga ngalakal who control great wealth. Ang mga pagbabago sa European society gayon pa man only went so far. At bagamat ang mga merchants at traders enjoy social mobility, ang karamihan pa din sa mga European ay nananatiling mahirap. But more than anything else, pinalaki ng economic revolution ang kayamanan ng bansang Europe. And in addition, mercantilism ang nag-contribute to the creation of, of the nation identity. So, class na intindihan nyo ba? Yun yung mga bagay na inclined sa section 4, which is the economic change and trade industry or trade growth. And I hope you understand. That's all.